Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, you guys can see that I went ahead and took some time, uh, built up my bot a little bit. Uh, he now has the wheels. The top doesn't quite look right. He's actually starting starting to look like Wally or something like that. I, I don't know if that's the the look we were going for, but it's unique, I guess. Uh, I was going for some kind of half half man, half. Uh, have a scorpion kind of look but uh, it's morphed into more of a I don't know more of like a person kind of look because of the yellow blocks down here maybe again if we could do the coloring we might be able to shade it so it could look that way but that's probably more of a cheat but I went ahead and put a little bit more weight here in the front because uh, it's empty back here I don't have any blocks for it so it's really really you know overweight because of the top piece back here where all the stuff is my batteries and all that stuff so really really top heavy and then nothing down here to kind of support it and even it out. Uh, I would ideally like to go forward, maybe two more rows on the front, uh, the bottom part, and then maybe back two more rows in the the back as well to kind of give that weight distribution a little bit more. But I kind of like the look of it being uh, just like that. So we might try to figure out how to make that work. But there is a bot up here, as you can see, right off to the distance. And I want to go over there and kill him. It looks like he has a few blocks that I haven't gotten yet. And while we were picking up all the stuff here, obviously we got the wheels, we got the the single blocks, and we have the double ones, as well as the uh, the big two uh, four square ones, which are really really nice. We got the a few more pieces in here. You guys may not have seen this little lantern right here, this little light. It's the Geocore Hazard light. That's kind of cool. And then we got these big guys right here, <laughs> right in here. I went ahead and put them right there to fill in the gap. It's the Geocore Twin Floodlights. These guys give off enormous amounts of light. So I went ahead and put another little light over here. It may not be as powerful as the Geo GSO Buzz uh, strip light. And we're going to see what this looks like at nighttime. I also went ahead and put, you know, a light on the inside of uh, the cab right here on the bottom to give it more of a glow. Uh, again, it might be asking for too much, but giving us color, you know, control over that too would be really nice. That way we could change the color of the lights. Uh, which would add like a whole like new design point of making them look beautiful with sleek uh, colors underneath and yeah you could really design some some awesome vehicles in here that were worthy of being like on covers of magazines and stuff when you can start you know really changing not only the color of the blocks but the color I mean I'm not going way over his head all my block all my all my weapons are way too high for this guy like the only thing I'm gonna be able to do is run into this guy and drill him that's my that's my only option at this point. And the only reason I'm able to do that is because he's stuck. Ooh, what does he have on the side of his things? There we go. True. Oh, yes. Yes. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, man. I was, I was not expecting that. Okay, so what we are going to do... Oh, I have an idea, guys. Why don't we go bigger? Why don't we make this the guy's stomach? And now we need to make the legs, like that, the body that goes even below, you know, further below. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go even further out. Now, let's see. What if we What if we do this? We are going to throw on one of, you know, that's not what we want. We want, to, let's see, how about this? I like that, but I don't like that I can't connect to it. So that's, that's not going to work. At least not yet because I do need to go out one so let's do this let's put one here and we will do that and then we can do this on like the inside there it goes it raises up in fact maybe we will we will do it one back in the corner of say the second row if it will let us do it uh, it didn't quite like that okay we'll put that there and then we'll come over here and we'll put another one down and then we can move that other one so Let's see. There we go. I think that's where we want. Yeah, that's where we want it. So we can remove that one, and it should stay up now. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can cover it up with blocks later down the road, and have it, uh, you know, completely protect it, so that I don't have to worry about, you know, them taking out one block, and then completely destroying. I guess it's not gonna let me do that. Yeah, I didn't want to have to worry about them taking out one block and completely destroying you know, half of my bot because it's only held together by one row, which, you know, in reality, yeah, that's the case. It, it could easily be destroyed, but if you take that extra precaution and trying to protect it a little bit, you can get away with having your bot on the inside 
uh, completely hollow while still getting all the protection the other blocks provide you. You know, especially once you start throwing like shields and stuff on them, uh, it's really not that difficult to to protect this stuff. See, let me turn it a little bit more. If it keeps going, there we go. And now you have it completely protected. You can't even see that it's hollow on the other side. Now I'm not going to do that for the whole thing yet. I'm just getting it started so that I can get the the design layout that I want. Uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Let's go over one more. Uh, is that right? No, I don't think that is. I think it needs to go out one more layer as well. So let's do that. Let's grab this guy right here. We'll put him there for now. We'll see if we can turn this the way we want. Actually, it turned the way we want it right off the bat. Fantastic. Okay, so we are missing one block over here on the center, but that's all right because we just need to get the, the layout, the actual design of it uh, completely done. Let's go out one more. There we go. That's going to be good. That's going to be level. Uh, we can start putting some wheels on it now because we do, we just need to have enough that our design is going to work. Otherwise, you know, we may be like, oh, okay, yeah, this needs to be in the right spot and then run out of run out of blocks. And if you do that and your design isn't stable, uh, you're out of luck. You know, like there's, there's not much you can do about that. You're just going to have to take some stuff off. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two three four okay so that should be good I think that's the level it just doesn't look right for some reason let's move this forward a little bit more mmm we're, yeah, we're gonna have to come forward at least one more row down here let's do that uh, hopefully I have enough wheels that's, that's my only concern at this point is it's just not having enough wheels to, to cover the distance that I need to add the stability to my bot although it looks like this guy has tons and tons of wheels so I should be good. Ah, oh, crap. That's not all right. Is it? Uh, I guess it is. Okay, I thought it was off a little bit. Okay, so that should be fine. Okay, so we got one forward. Now let's see if we can do... We need to do at least two back. So let's do that. Let's see if we can get some more of these over here. Uh, come on. Nope. Uh, there we go. And we will do... No, that's not what we want to do there. We will may combine it that way, though. Let's see dang it uh, come on <laughs> it's, it's kind of difficult to work with some of these pieces at times uh, especially when you start getting to this size uh, things can start to go horribly wrong very quickly if you you know miscalculate what you what you're doing now of course this whole thing could be destroyed super easy because I just don't have enough uh, blocks to go around at the moment to or repair bubbles and stuff to go around at the moment to cover the entire thing but keep in mind also that when you do that, the lag is going to increase as well, depending on how strong your computer is. If you got a good computer, uh, you may not have to worry about that too much. If you don't, uh, you may start running into issues. Now, at some point, they're going to refine the code, you know, to the point like Minecraft, where you can just have, you know, tons and tons of blocks. And I'm scrolling through this, see if I can get the right, you know, area coverage that I was looking for, but it doesn't seem to want to give it to me. I just wanted to stand straight up. Let's see, you know, come on, guys, just stand straight up. That's now. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's standing straight up, just not where I wanted to. There we go. That's all I wanted. Now let's see, what do we else we got back here again? Because I'm going to keep the inside, you know, hollow. That's why I want this to stand straight up in the angle that I'm going for. Uh, not quite. Man, you got to scroll through a lot to kind of get to the ones you're looking for on this one. Uh, <laughs> dude, what the crap? Oh, man, if you move even slightly while you're scrolling, you know, the block will actually change placements where you're trying to to go. And I guess that's what happened. I slightly moved it because I'm having to hold down the left trigger or left mouse button. Oh, look at that. Almost. Dang it. Jeez, it was off by just a little bit. Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Do they torture me? There we go. That's exactly what I want. Jeez. Make it difficult on me, guys. That's... That's rough. That that was that was not easy. Uh, okay, so I actually prefer to use the twos and the ones in that situation because they turn. Oh, come on! You make, you're gonna do it. You know, you're gonna you're gonna mess with me too. I mean, come on. They they turn so much easier, to be honest. And you know, obviously, right there was not a good example. But for the most part, I haven't had too much uh, resistance from them putting them where I want them in the angle that I want. Uh, pretty much the first time, but. Uh, there's there's always those those exceptions. So let's see. 
I think we're going to throw some of these down here in the center if we can. Maybe right there. And the reason I'm doing this is, again, if if the blocks are destroyed and they're not connected to anything, everything that they're connected to will pop off as well. So until I get everything here connected through other blocks, uh, there's there's a hazard that the enemy will get a lucky hit. Shoot, uh, just shoot the right spot at the right time, and this whole thing will come just crashing down because it's just... Uh, it didn't have anything else connected to it, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go the extra mile, and I'm going to put these things here. Uh, also connect the stuff up there down here somehow on the other side if we have another block. I uh, actually need a block in there, though. Hmm. I don't think we have any. Let's put some diamonds on here just so we can get those. Uh, oh, we got a lot of mortars, so we're going to use those. We'll put the mortars up here on the top for now. Let's see. What else do we have here? You know, a lot of mortars, but I'm hoping for some actual weapons. I may have to take the ones I have on the top down because, uh, as you can see with that last guy, we just weren't really able to to do that much damage to him other than ramming him, and that's that's dangerous. I mean, yeah, you can do it, but, geez, like, if you can avoid it, then why not? Because you may not be the fast and fastest bot on the map, and if you're not, you're going to take some damage getting there, and if you if you can shoot, all the while and shoot out of his distance then preferably that's the way I prefer, you know like to go I don't I don't like to put my guy in any more danger than he absolutely has to let's see we can put this here again this is gonna be massive and we're gonna get some lag I'm sure at some point here because it's so big I think this is actually the biggest bot I've ever made I don't think I've ever gone this big before now it's not the best one I've ever made it's not the well most well protected or the most well equipped yet but it could very very easily become one of those uh, if I can just make it back to my base in one piece but uh, the chances of that are incredibly unlikely big boy block what is that holy crap look at that guys look at that searchlight that is amazing that is really cool and there's an enemy sneaking up on me look at him the little sneaky bugger uh huh 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 yeah I see oh can we not move why can't we move Oh, because we're still in build mode. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Come on. Is he is he getting closer? Where's he at? Yep, he's coming this way. I, I want to pick up some of these pieces, but if he gets over here, I'm afraid that's it. I, I don't think we'd survive, you know, because we just don't have the pieces we need in the right area at the moment. We couldn't even ram him, and the damage we'd be doing is way, way, way above his head. So there would be that. We did get a few more pieces here. Let's put this back here. He's... I don't know if he's still coming. Let's see. Can we pick up any of the other stuff while we're over here? I want to get a few more of these... These light... Ah, he's still coming, isn't he? Yep. What a little butthead. What a little butthead. Okay, let's... Let's get out of here. We're going back to base if we can. Let's see if we can get this out from underneath us. Oh, we got another diamond diamond thing right there so we're gonna grab that put that on there at the very least we could try try our hardest to ram them if we run into another enemy but yeah again I I don't think that's gonna be an option that's really just gonna wipe the floor with us I like this though this looks pretty cool look at this guys this is this is massive this is crazy big I've never had a bot that size and it's running really smooth so I gotta put my hat off to them guys uh, they they have definitely made some some major updates here. Now, <laughs> we need a name for this bot. And I'm going to call it until we come up with a better one. Let's see. What can we call this? Uh, I, I don't know. This is like the uh, the gizmo. That's what I'm going to call it after uh, Gremlins. It just looks like something gizmo would make. <laughs> it's so weird. Holy crap. Holy crap. What on earth is that? Get away from me. Oh. <laughs> Where did that come from? Look at him just annihilating everything in his path. And, of course, I'm firing at him, and we're getting lag. But, you know, the, the weapons aren't even doing anything. Like, I could turn them off, and he'd still be doing the same thing he was doing. Uh, I don't know if we could re if we can kill that guy. I mean, I'm going to have to redesign what we got going on here. And all I wanted to do was get back to base. Dude, that was huge. That guy was freaking nuts. Unbelievable. Where did he come from? Jeez, are those the spawns we're getting over there next to our base? Because it ain't going to be there otherwise. I mean, that, no, our, our guys are not going to be able to survive that. Jeez, 
That was rough. Oh, there he is right there. There's one of them anyways. Oh, yeah. Everybody's getting so much bigger. Even even the, the GSO blocks, you know, they're, they're huge. Because look how big that is compared to my bot. And my bot is nuts. So that size over there just has to be gigantic for GSO. And that, that Geocore one over there, it looks like easy pickings, and it probably would be. Man, how many? Is that a base over there? Are you guys going to tease me with a base? Is it a base, or is it just three moms? I think it's just three moms. We'll see when we move over here to the side. So many enemies. Yeah, it's just, it's just a, a mob, I think. Let me look at it real quick. I think that might be a base, guys. It should show up something different on the map, though, on the or at least on the the radar. Um, I guess we're gonna check it out. We shouldn't. We definitely shouldn't. But we're gonna. Oh, geez, this this might be the end of us right here. I don't know. I don't know why we're doing this. What does that look like? Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, I can't quite tell. It looks like a base. It actually does. What would a base be doing all the way out here? Well, we're, we're going to see if we can grab it. I think our weapons... No, no, they're not going to pose any any damage whatsoever unless we just uh, we just charge it. So let's see if we can do this. Yep, it's a base. We're going to charge, slam right into them. There we did it. We got all the damage we possibly could out of that. Let's see. Can we back up? Okay, we are backing up. We destroyed most of the base. This thing is still attacking us, though, unfortunately. Uh, come on. Can we back up? There we go. There we go. Okay, so we are going to get out of here. What was that? Oh, let's grab that. GSO payload terminal. We need that big time. Look, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Let me have it. Oh, come on. Why won't it let me pick it up? Jeez. Do I have to destroy the other guys first? No, no, I got it. Okay, we are out of here. We'll come back and get that stuff later. I know where this is. Let's come over here and get away. Wow, okay, so I'm going to be able to buy some more weapons. Uh, I don't have too much money, but uh, we can go back and, and get that stuff in a minute. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is end the episode here, guys. Uh, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Um... I'm thinking on the next couple of levels, we're going to go back and try my idea of building the turkey. Again, th this bot is cool and all, but it's not very practical. And, of course, uh, the bigger they get, the more lag eventually you get. And so I want to keep them kind of small to start with because I never really explored that aspect of the game with the small uh, just GSO blocks. But if you guys want to see more of the Geocore, you want me to come back to this one, uh, I definitely will do that. Just uh, let me know that in the comment section below. Again, I want to thank you all for watching. And I will definitely catch you all next time.